Hello dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you will be fine. My name is Engineer Mir Mazuchya. I am lecturer in Department of Technology, Sarah University of Science and Information Technology, Peshawar. As I am teaching you the subject design of hydraulic structure, today is your lecture number 22. In lecture number 22, we will study about uh, canal falls, their necessity and uh, different types of canal falls. So, coming to the topic, uh, what is canal fall? Irrigation canals uh, are constructed with some permissible wet slope uh, so that there is no silting or storing in the canal bed. But it is always not possible uh, to run the canal at the desired bed slope throughout the alignment due to the fluctuating nature of the country slope. Generally, the slope of the ground, natural ground surface is not uniform throughout the alignment. Sometimes the ground surface may be steep and sometimes it may be irregular with abrupt change of grade. In such cases, a vertical drop is provided to step down the canal bed and then it is continued with permissible slope until another step down is necessary. This is done to avoid unnecessary uh, huge earthwork in filling. Such vertical drops are known as canal falls or simply falls. Next is a necessity of canal falls. So, what are the necessity of canal falls? When the slope of the ground suddenly changes to a steeper slope, the permissible bed slope cannot be maintained. As you can see in the figure, when the slope of the ground suddenly changes to a steeper slope, uh, the permissible bed uh, cannot be sustained or maintained at this point. So, it requires excessive earthwork in filling to maintain this slope, as you can see in the figure. So, in such a case, uh, falls are provided to avoid this uh, excessive earthwork in filling. When the slope of the ground is more or less uniform uh, and the slope is greater than the permissible bed slope of the canal as you can see in the figure, uh, in that case also canal falls are necessary. In cross drainage works, when the difference between a bed level of the canal and that of drainage is small or when the uh, FSL full supply level of the canal is above the uh, bed level of the drainage then the canal fall is necessary to carry the canal water below the stream or drainage as you can see in the figure the full supply level of the canal is above the uh, bed level of the drainage or stream so uh, in this case we provide a canal fall to move the canal water easily below, uh, below the stream. Next is the types of the canal falls. The following are the different types of canal falls that may be adopted according to the uh, site condition. The first type is the Ogi fall. In this type of uh, fall, the an Ogi curve, a combination of convex curve and concave curve is provided for carrying the canal water from higher level to lower level. This fall is recommended when the natural ground surface suddenly changes to steeper slope along the alignment of the canal. The Oki fall consists of a concrete vertical wall uh, and concrete bed. Also, uh, for the concrete bed, the rubble masonry is provided in the shape of Oki curve, as you can see in the figure. This is the uh, rubble masonry above which a uh, surface finished with cement mortar. The surface of this is uh, finished with cement mortar. This is the concrete vertical wall, and uh, at this point, a stone pitching is provided on the on on the upstream side. You can say, and on the uh, downstream side, a stone also stone pitching is provided. Also, a concrete bed is provided. The surface of the masonry is finished with a rich mortar 
1 ratio 3 this surface is finished with C1 motor of 1 ratio 3 the upstream and downstream side of the fall is protected by stone bricks with cement grouting and the design concentration of the auger coal depend on the uh, site conditions so this is known as an ogi fall next type is the rapid fall the rapid fall is suitable when the slope of the natural ground surface is even and uh, long it consists of a long sloping glacis with longitudinal slope which varies from 1 in 10 to 1 in 20. In rapid fall curtain walls are provided and in between rubble masonry is provided. These are known as the uh, curtain walls and uh, rapid falls are suitable uh, when the uh, natural ground surface is even uh, and long the uh, longitudinal slope uh, varies from uh, 1 in 20 to uh, 1 in uh, 20 curtain walls are provided on the upstream and downstream side of the sloping glaciers the sloping bed is provided with rubble masonry the upstream and downstream side of the pole is pro also protected by uh, rubble masonry the masonry surface is finished with a rich cement mortar. So on the upstream and downstream side also uh, rubble masonry or stone bridging is provided. And the top of this of the, the top surface of this uh, rapid fall is uh, finished with a rich cement mortar uh, in one ratio three. This is the end of our lecture.